Hi guys, happy Monday morning. We got a lot to do. I'm gonna just get started. Okay. This week we have three video lessons, Come, well, two actual video lessons. One is gonna be Wednesday and one is gonna be Friday. The Friday lesson, you need a piece of graph paper. Now I realize this is one by one graph paper and this is the ex pretty much what you need. Now I realize not everybody has graph paper and that's one, Thing I would put on a, a list that I'd probably skip over if I was people because what are you going to do with a pack of graph paper? I, I could tell you in my adult years I've needed graph paper like three times. I could be using the same pack as I had 20 years ago. What I did is I up well not me um Dina did it for me. She uploaded this. This is a free downloadable um a free printable uh, from the internet. Um, you can either go directly to freeprintables.com. If you just put in graph paper printable in the search, it'll come up. You can download a piece of graph paper one by one off the internet. And all you need is one sheet. That's it. If not, Dina put copies of it in like all different ways of downloading it, like a GIF or a PNG or a, all those little endings into the file section over on the Facebook group and you can get it there. So don't go out running out to get the graph paper. If worse comes to worse, you can always draw your own graph paper with some lines on the, we're not doing art with this. This is for something else. So I'm just letting you know that'll be on Friday. I have a couple of announcements. Okay. First of all, Judith, um, Crowman, Honey, I hope you feel better. <laughs> I couldn't respond to your email because um, it came up with a five. It came up with message not delivered. There was a problem delivering your message. See technical details. Resend. And then when I tried to resend, it had a five five zero high probability of spam. But I know that you're you're not spamming me, and I'm not spamming you. So. They wouldn't let me deliver anything to you. I wanted to get you the files. So let's work it out. Just recontact me. Okay. Lacey Hurley, your mailbox is full. I couldn't respond to you. I had a whole email written up about your pictures. You wanted me to take a look at your pictures and I can't deliver it. So if you can empty out your mailbox and contact me again, I guess that's the only way we can do that. Oh, the big one. Andy is putting up the deli pencils on sale and for us so that uh, if you wanted to get a set, he's giving a good discount. He's giving, I think, I think it's 15%. I will leave the link in the description because he sent me some, some link for this sale and the code, and you have to put in 15 Deli, D-E-L-I 72. I'll leave all the information and the link in the description. It's a regular Amazon thing, but I think when he's giving specific people, when you're giving specific people the discount and he's giving it to our community. So you have to use what he gave me. I don't really know about how to set up the behind the scenes things that Amazon, but that's what he wanted me to tell you. Okay, so the Prismacolor pencils, when I went to check, were $165 again. Don't get them this week. They'll come down. I didn't see much in the way of really fantastic sales going on, except for maybe the Deli pencils. I'm just waiting. I'm not doing the lesson today on the drawing because... Everybody is just getting their color wheels. If you haven't gotten your color wheels, I'm leaving the link for you again. If you want to get your paperwork for the class, I have that link in the in the description. It's the comprehensive color blending too. Everybody who requested uh, the files for the blank swatch and comp, I've gotten those out. And for the polychromos list, um, if you didn't get a response from me, that means it bounced or something went wrong. Just nudge me for another, another, e you know, just nudge me with another email that you didn't get it and what you need and be specific because some people are just saying, yeah, I want it. And I don't know 
what this is files that they have to be sending to everyone so be very specific on what you want and I'll bop it back to you another thing people were asking me about or a little bit worried about was being able to see such detail in a picture they were concerned listen we're all getting older our eyesight sight goes in I mean starting in your 50s maybe even to your late 40s um, your near your nearsightedness goes off and it's not good. I used to wear every gizmo and gadget on my head magnifying glass. And I'm going to tell you this. My friend Tammy, who is in the community, sent me a link for these. These are the greatest things that I have bought. I threw everything else I owned out. They These fit over your regular glasses. They're really clear. And they magnify everything so that you feel like you are on top of the picture. I could see the most minute details and I am blind as a bat. Um, not only do I have my aging eyes, but I also have a scar on my cornea from my youth that comes out with low light. So I really am blind as a bat and I have no problems. This um, vendor sends two pairs. So you pay for one and he sends two. They're a little bit different style. One, which I like better, is just a plain old style. It's They're smaller, they're lighter. Um, they feel less bulky on my face. And I, this is the one I really prefer to use. But the other one is nice because they light up. And they come with a recharger. And I have bright light down. So here you go. It gives you a little bit of extra light. I'm using such a bright light that I don't need these extra things on it. But it was nice to have when I didn't have the lights. I've had my pair. I, honestly, I bought two. Two sets in the last about year and a half. They're out of China. They're cheap plastic. I mean, they're not heavy-duty good glasses. They're just magnifying cheapies, like any readers that you buy in the store. Um, not very fashionable. I wouldn't go out wearing them. Besides, you might walk into something because they're magnified. But if you are having trouble seeing those details, these things are fantastic. And there's all sorts of ones on um, Amazon that you can, you know, scroll through and look, whatever fits your fancy but I like these because one lights up one doesn't it comes with a case it comes with a charger and you get two pair and two is always better than one when it comes to me because I lose everything so that takes care of that I found something really cool now I like I like Black Widow pencils I, they, I like the colors I think that they're great the one thing I don't like about them is the gimmick. And we all know that they have a gimmick that goes with it. You buy one set. It doesn't come with all the pencil colors so that you have to buy a second set. And I wasn't thrilled with that because by the time you're done getting all the colors, it's going to cost you over $95. So it wasn't really too cool on that. But on the flip side, Monarch pencils, um, I'm not Monarch, but Black Widow pencils are pretty good. I mean, I have to say they are very creamy. They're very vivid. I have nothing bad to say about Black Widow pencils. They're a popular brand amongst colorists. So I bought, went out and I bought Monarch. Okay. And I didn't know when I bought Monarch that it didn't come with red because I just didn't look that closely. I just picked a 48 thinking I was getting the biggest variety. And these were a very imbalanced set. I mean, I have to say they've got all pinks and yellows and greens. They didn't have a lot of the things. That it, it was basically the monarch butterfly colors. I wasn't, I wasn't happy that I didn't have any of those other colors. And I didn't want to get suckered into buying every one. So I stuck with the monarch and... Actually, it's been sitting in my drawer. I really should use them more because they're nice pencils. They have nice colors. They've got a nice um, skin tone set, but their gimmicky thing is that they only give you the pales in one set and you got to buy the darks in another. And you already know that you need the dark and the light to do skin tone. 
So, free on that. But I'm smarter. <laughs> I know that out there, I know, I knew I was going to find them. Get your pencils in China, I'm going to find them. And I did. And this was the Wa Portman pencil. It's a no frills, what the Black Widow pencils look like before they put the Black Widow stamp on them. So, here I found all the colors that this set was missing. Now I have a full set. And this was only like $12, $13. And I did a swatching of it. And what I found, which was really kind of nice, um, they don't have many comps. So here I have the Monarch pencils. And if you put your swatch comp sheet on it, let's look for a the blues. Here's the blues. It's different. It's almost the same, but not perfect, this blue. Almost. This is very close to this, but as you can see when you put it on there, but sometimes you can't tell. You really can't. And as you put it on here, you can see the colors do not match up. They are not identical colors. So I, this one is still not identical. So these two are very close, but they're, they're analogous of each other. This one is slightly darker than this one, and they don't match up with... Um, Black Widow, that's what makes this set really great is because you're not um, doubling your colors, you're adding to them. And they, believe me, they're the same pencil. They look like a duck, they act like they duck, they fuck like a duck. They're a duck. Now, what I did find, and it doesn't mean that they're not the same pencils, is some of them, not so much on the Black Widow, let me see on here. Well, that's not true. Okay. I did find that these were slightly, and I mean slightly, where it does not make a difference, a little bit more scratchy. Now, the way the colors are in China, the LEDs, certain color groups, probably from the materials that are available, are a little scratchier than others. And even in Prisma's in the Prismacolor set, there are pencils that are scratchier than other pencils. So I think that Black Widow did a fantastic job picking through the cores that whatever company that they went through and giving you the really good ones. I think this this company um, went and got colors that were not being used often. So you put these two together and it's great. On the uh, Black Widows, I found the skin tones were a little bit more scratchy. But the other colors were extremely creamy. And pretty much across the board, these felt just a drop. Like, you might not even tell. I mean, really, you, you if you scrunchied up your pencils, you probably would not... Tell I'm ultra sensitive. This is a great match for that. Would I run out and if you don't have Black Widow pencils, would I run out and specifically get this? No, probably not because they're common colors. But if you've got the Monarch set, these sets are, this is a complimentary set to that set. So I was very happy to get it. Now we're going to talk a little bit negatively about this pencil and what I'm about to do. To okay, you are a no-frills brand. You didn't even put anything on your pencils. Nothing. There's no name. There's no pencil number. These are black, plain pencils. I like the, the case that it comes in because what it comes in is... This little tube, yes, this is the perfect set. If you got grandchildren and you want to, you know you have like the little bag that you bring with you to keep your kids quiet when you're talking or when you're um, eating. 
I know I used to carry that, the little goodie bag to keep me, the busy bag. That's what it was called, the busy bag. This is really nice, and it comes with a sharpener at the top. So I, I do give them that for this, but that's what they should have focused on in their advertising. Instead, they opened themselves up to a can of worms and a can of kick-ass because their claim to fame is they're all light fast. Now, back the truck up here. You do not provide any information about the pencils, about the pencil testing, about the methods you use, nothing. It's just all over your um, Amazon thing. We are light fast. Well, how are you light fast? Please tell me um, in plain English where your testing is. Why didn't you put your testing information? It's not enough when you are um, bragging about being light fast. It's not enough to just say we are light fast because we all know the pencils that come out of China. Nah, wouldn't trust them. I'm not even trusting Andy's pencils. The set I am putting out there, I would not put the label on saying light fast unless I light fast test them because I know the pencils out of China are not light fast. They're not meant to be light fast. They're, they're bargain pencils. They're, they're, not artist grade pencils. We're not looking at Karen Dash. We're not looking at Prismacolor or any of the major uh, Derwent, any of the major companies that invest in their pencils and for proper light fasting tests because they're marketing to artists. This set is not marketing to artists. Nobody gives a flying F. Okay, flying fuck. We're adults. Um, a flying fuck if these pencils are light fast or not. There's no artist in the world who's going to go, oh, I think I'm going to have these pencils. Even though they're not marked with anything, not even a color, I'm going to just buy this set and then sell my work. It does not work that way. So I'm going to, even though, if you just shut your mouth, it would have been fine. But you know what? I don't like being called suckers. And that's what these people are trying to do. Now, it almost worked with the Mark Art. They were great pencils. They're Naomi pencils. And they hid the fact that they were Naomi pencils to go with their own branding. Well, that was the dumbest thing in the world because Naomi pencils are really good. Mark Art is Naomi. You should have been like, hello? Yes, we're here. We're Naomi. Buy us. No, don't mess with us because us as the consumer and the influencers out there are going to find out we're going to tell the truth. And now that we have all these swap and comp sheets, these come in, um, these come in the course, share them. This is the one thing that I say, don't share my artwork. Share this, these pen, these this comp and swap thing. They're very easy to do. One set you do on the outside, one set you do on the inside. Take an X-Acto knife, plop out the inside. And really, this is the best way because it covers the outside and it covers completely. You're not really guessing. Like this color and this color would have been, like you would have said, oh, I recognize that color. Uh, it's a dupe. It's not a dupe. It's an it's analogous. But you don't know that until you put it on and you can see that this is darker and more orange. And then we have a brighter yellow that's lighter. But they, when you take it apart, they look identical. So these set, this is like the best swatch set to be using. And it's free for you guys. The blanks are in the Facebook group. And if you want one of the blank sheets, send me an email. I will be more than happy. I did not, I did not include numbered sets. So I was paying for having these done and a lot of money. They weren't cheap because I don't have the patience, time, or capability to type in 
all the names of the pencils. I was paying somebody to do it. And I just didn't think it was that difficult to put down for everybody to just put down a number. If you're set like brush fun of pencils that change up every other week, um, just write down the, the number on your pencil. They don't give you names anyway. And, um, as far as the polychromos, we couldn't even count on polychromos to keep the sets. Um, because now I'm getting all this, this, uh, feedback and everybody's got different sets. Well, this pencil is this, this is the old set. This is the new set. There's no definitive. It was, I think they were just packing those new pencils into where they ran out of the old. They're the same colors, by the way. So it's not really a very big deal at all. It's just, if you, you, you should use that list. You should get a hold. If you're using the polychromos, you should get a hold of that list. You can get it. My wonderful moderators put it into the, I have the best moderators. I really do. They're wonderful. Um, they put them into the file section in uh, the Facebook group. And if you need it and you're not in the Facebook group, just send me an email, ask me for it. I'll just pop it right back to you. And keep in mind, I sleep during the day, my time, and I'm up all night. So you'll more than likely get responses in the middle of the night than you'll ever get in the middle of the day from me. So that's that. So I will see you on Wednesday. We will be doing a an official lesson on Wednesday. And on Friday is going to be the first day that we're actually going to put the pencil to the paper. And it's not going to be the pictures. It's going to be the graph paper. Um, so get the piece of graph paper for free. Just go download it or ask me for it or ask one of my moderators if you really need it. I know Dina is so sweet. She'll send you anything. So we will see you on Wednesday. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.